สมุดปาการเนี่ยเป็นแหล่งที่เขาเรียกว่าเป็นน้ําจืดกับน้ําเค็มผสมกันที่มีแร่ธาตุธรรมชาติที่สูง I'm actually never been to b a k l i farm before or g o r m i fish but I use it quite often in my cooking but uh, this is actually first time to see how it really works and it's quite a beautiful and really good to be here I mean I heard about the fish for sure I eat it also the name is a bit unknown for me before I just realized actually that I think this is the fish what my wife cooks sometimes for me she cook it in a kind of a soup it's like deep fried it's very delicious The gourmet fish is a fresh water, but the sea water helps the smell to get away. If it's too much salt water, you cannot live. If it's too much fresh water, this doesn't taste good. In Germany, we just poach the fish, or we cure it also like that fish, mm. but it's not aged or deep fried and stuff like that. Most likely also cured, like you say, or smoked right after, you know, to to preserve it. Like what kind of preservation? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so uh, you see here that uh, you, there will be glass. They let it swim naturally, so make it strong muscle. So the glass is important here to first thing is like they cut the glass. When the glass is down, it um, fertilization to become uh, the fish food. So there's no feeding here, so it's sustainable. Natural, yeah, natural. ในเรื่องของช่วยเหลือชุมชนได้ตั้งแต่กระบวนการเลี้ยงดีกว่าเมื่อมีคนเลี้ยงปลาสลิดก็จะต้องมีคนไปจับปลาไปฟันหญ้าไปอะไรเพื่อให้เกิดปลาเพื่อให้ปลาโตมันก็เป็นการสร้างรายได้ทําให้ชุมชนมีรายได้หมดเลยการแปรรูปปลาสลิดเนะี่ยมันมีความขาวคนที่ว่าจะทํากับข้าวก็ต้องมีฝีมือพอสมควรที่จะสามารถแปรรูปให้ทํำยังไงให้มันไม่ขาวแล้วก็มีความหอมมันมีความอร่อยได้ So I answer like um, why here? Why Bang Bo? First thing is a uh, geography here. And the fresh water that feed the fish is uh, like perfect here. And the history and the, um, uh, the technique that come from generation of generation. So the, she's third generation. The knowledge that pass on is just the heritage is important to us. So um, there's uh, humidity, the dampness of, of the head. And the head is uh, the variation that make um, the fish. Uh, not good because mm -hmm. of the water content of the head. They have to take uh, the head off and cut it. Uh, the dryness and the solid couldn't be controlled if the head still there. I think this one is very nice because I like the texture because I think she fried it first, right? And then after yeah. she marinated it, so, so how she did it? She said, freshness, uh, fire and skill. She don't want to sell the recipe, right? <laughs> <laughs> So first, first is we'll do a uh, yum uh, southern style for the sweetness. I l l we use honey from palm uh, near the beach. Okay. So it's have a salty flavor, and now I'll use uh, some cheese. And then uh, the small mango is um, really sour. Basically, I'll do uh, the yum p a s t i c o t is uh, the starter, and then I'll do the um, the, the soup with the fried parsley. So. We have bay leaf, we have pepper, we have uh, fennel seeds, we have coriander seeds, and then we're gonna aromate the the brine, the brine to have a little bit more flavor. And we're using the same technique like in Thailand, so we're using a uh, mixed water, 70 gram of salt, and we will brine it for one day only. Uh, normally, uh, we pour a little water to bring it out, but we go to sour, and the technique that they use is. Um, Use coconut water. So. Can I try? Yeah, okay, but uh, I'll just uh, do it like this first. Wow, you do all my work. So. Wow. Oh my God, Thomas, come! <laughs> Since you're doing three dishes, I'm a bit curious. Must be a lot of techniques involved in this. You know why I do many dishes? Because one one dish may be good. So. <laughs> One dish must have an impact to one customer, so, <laughs> so they keep in come back. So that's why we have like 20 p o s t My wife from Bangkok, she also loves your food. Oh, okay, thank you. My wife loves your food too. <laughs> <laughs> so, my dish first here, g o r o m a i fish, basically you see here. But um, the sauce is um, actually I, I boil with a fresh squeezed coconut with a galanga uh, bay leaf. 
and uh, lemongrass, uh, shallots, and turmeric. I boil it and uh, very used sugar. After that, um, a little bit salt because I boil gourmet fish in there too. And then after about boil gourmet fish in there, and then after that, I just put on the deep fryer again, so very crispy. So basically what we did actually, we cut the fish fresh yesterday, and then we also cured or brined it in a, in a liquid solution with salt and spices and herbs, very traditionally. Smoked it slightly with, uh, with applewood. After we, we smoked the fish, we just chopped it down, we marinated it a little bit with uh, cream fresh and sour cream. The skin, we made it crispy. Thomas, the older first, always. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Nice texture, nice crispy. It's also refreshing, I would say. Yeah. Very refreshing. You want to try? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You like it? I know you don't like cucumber, but... No. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love it, I love it. I love it so yeah. much. I love it. How do you know that? You've been talking to my wife? <laughs> I only need one kilo. <laughs> <laughs> For Thailand, it's, um, we have a saying, uh, there's fish in water, there's a rice in the field. So that's how we can grow a lot of things. We can raise a lot of things. And then there's a lot of great ingredients in Thai that I want to present. So that's why I'm still cooking today. I think uh, one thing might have to change for fine dining a little bit. It's maybe that people might have perception that you know quality ingredients in Thailand is not really going along. But I think it's just maybe a mindset that people thinking is I don't want to pay that money for maybe a local duck because I think the French duck is much better. But we have to change that. You have to change that that that, that perception, right? We have to take that product, change the, the customer mindset that hey, this local thing is good, and we have to make them try and think. It's our responsibility. So. Exactly. Also, that's that's a way to exploring uh, things and like in Thailand, you know, to, to see what things are done and who the person behind that, that product. Also, you know what I mean. So, I think yes, it's very important.